account and that um, the depot encounter that's been uh, updated with the uh, new low level steps underground area and uh, right now what you can see is the, the game queue the, the map loading and I'm, I'm playing my Americans here uh, we've got a semi-auto with practically no upgrades to it none whatsoever and we have the M3 grease gun with a trigger modification to it and so what I decided to do is I decided to start off with the M1 Grand now the reason why I decided to start off with my M1 Grand is simply because it's just it's a lot more it, you can get a feel for for the enemy their tactics their weapons etc and um I don't feel, compared to the, a weapon like the Gewehr 43 and the SVD 40, I feel that the uh, M1 Grand is actually the better of the semi autos. Granted, it's got two less rounds than the Gewehr and the uh, the SVT 40, but it's good. So as you can see here, we're we're going through the forest right now, and uh, we've still got our spawn protect on. Um, of course, we've got some friendlies, you know, still running off ahead who managed to spawn in quicker than me. Uh, <clears throat> bear in mind, this was recorded on my old Intel gaming platform without uh, the SSD. So, as you can see, we've got a friendly going up top, and right there is uh, an enemy trying to do a delayed action. So, and I see him, I'm, I'm target up, strafing as I shoot, right there, headshot. Thank you. Didn't hit me once, he did manage to kill a friendly. Now, thinking it's a vehicle, it's going to be more than one. Uh, turns out, no, 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 I see, do see a German running in, and I figured, no, not going to bother. I uh, got into cover too quick and I'm going to my position. So I decided to go up the other full name. This is a very good position to be in. Uh, as long as that glass is broken out, it comes in. There's a couple of Germans down there, a couple of pot shots. Uh, and then I see one German coming up on the top galley and figure, back off, reload, pop back up, wait for him, wait for him. Don't see him, okay? So crouch down, let's take a look around. Now this is, this is where you're going to get hit with grenade splash, splash if anything. I was waiting for that one German, there he is, pop, got him, headshot, see ya, thank you, and of course finally seeing that other German die, I'm like, great, I'm in a good position, so I'm going to stay here for a bit, and again, this is a perfect defensive position, right there, I saw him, and I didn't realise it until it was too late, I was like, fuck it, I should have stayed, stayed up and took some shots, but I, I stayed low, because I heard a vehicle coming, and uh, didn't realise it was actually a friendly vehicle, again, you always want to err on the side of caution, even more so, there you go, friendly just hit me with a grenade, uh, reported him. Uh, always report idiots who splash with grenades, even if they're friendlies. Again, another grenade got me. I backed out of there, realized, wait, I'm a one shot kill. So, let, let the enemy pop, pop. Thinking I could get him, we traded. He killed me, I killed him. Good kill, Navoski there. Uh, Navarossi, I'll just call you Dave. Good kill there, Dave. So, I decided to spawn him with my grease gun. So, again, this grease gun's only got a trigger upgrade. The ammunition is still stocked. Stock sight, stock barrel. Uh, a stock piston, everything else on the gun except for the trigger is stock. So the trigger is the first uh, 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 lightning trigger. I saw an enemy vehicle, I'm like, okay, so they're trying to be sneaky using the machine gun. Let's get some cover, you know, get cover between me and him. Again, you always want to use cover. If cover is offered, use it. Plain and simple, use it. Um, saw that he was actually aiming at some friendly and I realized, you know what, it's a bit rough direction. Okay, he's taking a hit or two, pop shot, got him dealt with. Right. So, ignoring the vehicle, assuming he was the only one there, turns out he wasn't, it was a driver. Again, but we've got friendlies heading off in that direction, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, again, normally, if I'm platooning with my friends, uh, or I'm live streaming on a group of people, I tell them, you know, playing it. This is where I died to a uh, uh, PC, uh, P Carbone, um, I hope you burn in hell there, buddy, uh, 1997, simply because... He had no intentions uh, of doing anything other than just standing there and shooting you as you walk in. Um, no skill whatsoever required. Definitely a Call of Duty player. You can, you can spot them a mile away. Um, they don't think tactically. They don't think anything other than, let's get a kill, let's get a kill, let's get a kill. They're lemmings, basically. Uh, 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 insert audio cue for the seagulls. Mine, my, mine, my, mine, my, mine. That is their mindset. They are the sort of person that will, will hold off with a Panzerfaust while you stood there, threw two sticky, you know, threw a sticky on an enemy tank, it's on fire and he shoots up the Panzerfaust and takes all the freaking credit. So I threw a grenade in there thinking, okay, he's going to be camping still. Explosion, nothing, no hit markers, no nothing, so okay, he's moved. Turned out, he did move. He's right there, he's dead on the floor. 
friendly now. So I'm like, okay, we need to cap this. So let's go downstairs and, and, and clear out downstairs. Uh, check the stairwell first. No Germans camping there. It's all good, it's all good. Again, I'm using the M3 base gun here. Um, and check downstairs, because usually the first thing they grab is that Panzerfaust. Um, got some friendlies marked, making their way in. I realized, wait, if they're all concentrating on friendlies that can come in, they're not going to be concentrating on six. So I rock up in here, catch one guy, boom, 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 boom. See the Jimmy, another guy, boom, 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 boom. boom. Jimmy, don't reload. Oh, well, I really did, but normally I don't reload until I've got down to like 10 rounds with the grease gun. So another Jimmy, didn't get a shot on just there. What I did here, a couple of wounding shots, I didn't get to finish him off. Oh, that looks like I did. Third Jimmy killed. So that's three kills with the grease gun, two kills with the M1 grand. So grease gun, of course, just hit uh, Silver Star. So one, that was good. And again, I, 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 more minor damage. Again, this is just splash damage I'm taking, guys, and the sheer amount of grenades that you're throwing. If you see that it's under friendly control, don't just throw a grenade in there. It, it, it makes no bloody sense to do that. Anyway, saw that German on the box. Figured I'd throw a grenade out there. Switch, grease gun, quickly reload. And I got shot back in the head by Navorsi. Uh, the guy we traded with earlier. Clearly he likes to stay up there. Now I noticed he hadn't moved. He stood there. So what do I do? Switch to the Grand. Why? Grand is very good at range. So I try and get myself in a decent position here where I know I can get clear shots on him. Use cover for what it's designed for. Cover. Again, I'm all I'm, I'm scouting that, that, that line because I know he's up there. I know that's his preferred spot. Uh, again, as I was saying, saying to you at the beginning of the, uh, of the video, always, there he is, right there. No, no, no. Not sure if a grenade got him. Check the kill cam. It did uh, the kill list. It didn't. So I know he stood up there. Noticed that there was an, uh, a danger close scenario. That's uh, where there's an enemy contact too close. So I, I, now I don't fire. I'm holding my fire for a reason. When you shoot, you're giving away your position. There's a friendly. Watch this. Watch him. Okay, standing there, giving away his position. This guy. Clearly shooting. Now this is a German I'm, I'm looking at. This isn't not the, the, the other guy from the top. This is a completely different guy. Line up, line up. Now I'm not shooting. I'm waiting for him to turn around to take all the attention on this other guy that's with me. Uh, no, uh, boom, headshot. One dead devil dog. Guy in another vehicle tries to jump on the machine gun. Too late. Tap tap dead. De and again, I hold, held my fire. See that guy? Now I didn't hold my fire. Again, simply because the area around us is now clear. And I'm, I'm free to engage. Rule one, always make sure that the area around you is clear. Now, I like to use these trenches with my Grand. Um, again, you could also use these trenches with the Grease Gun if you know it's going to be a, a really good uh, a trench battle. Again, check the corner. No one there. Um, pop out there. This, this, this guy that was with me, he's pretty good. Uh, saw, saw a German there, a couple of pot shots. Headshot, gotcha, Jimmy. So that's him dead. And so, again, it's two to three. So we just three in there. Recon number two. Just saw a friendly go down. Saw more shots coming. I actually had forgotten that I had uh, uh, mines with me. Now, bear in mind, this is the most stupidest thing. We've got a guy with a grease gun holding the door, doing nothing, while the guy with the, the, the battle rifle, who just almost died right there, and then he comes out to block me. Oh, you, you are one of the dumbest players in existence, dude. Okay, so I go to heal, and you always want to heal up, even if you've only taken one hit. There's the there, there, fighting Panzerfaust. I have no idea how I missed that guy. And I keep forgetting I've got mines, not grenades. Uh, let him through his grenade, nothing happened. Got a couple of shots in him. He hit me once, and it was a solid hit. It was a top hit. It was a center mass hit because notice my, my hit points were grayed out. And uh, at this point, I think they're, they're, that's when uh, the grenade spam started happening again briefly. I didn't heal um, because I didn't think I needed it. I should have healed. There he is. Again, pop, 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 dropped him. So that's now we're, in, we're now actually one kill up on the grand of the grease gun here on encounter. So here I go to heal. Too late. Mr. Grenade Spam on top of the coal pile while well, friendlies are just staring at him. Again, I still I, I still choose to stick with the grand of the grease gun because I feel that the enemy really aren't using a lot of SMGs. So there's really no need to use the grease gun. So I, I'll just use uh, the grand and we won. So GG. Uh, oh, actually we didn't. We lost it. 
and we lost it due to campers. You can see me, me here typing here. Uh, 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 lost due to campers. GG uh, fuck nuggets. Uh, that's because they don't understand the principle. They're about they assume it's going to be like a team death match sort of scenario, and it's actually not in any way, shape, or form a team death match scenario. There, so it cost me four hundred and forty three credits. And there we go, there's all my unlocks. Right there, the M72, the springs, and everything else, Technician 5th. Um, and here, of course, you actually get to see me uh, um, equip the uh, matched M72. That's the only real... Uh, uh, here I equip uh, Gilly, uh, Gilly, or Gilil, however you want to pronounce it. And um, because I, I like... With, with my semi-auto, I like to stay... I go, I go counter-recon... Or, or spotter recon uh, with my uh, grand. Again, here you see me putting the match names, buying the M72 ammo, and um, setting it to auto repair. You always want to set it to auto repair, right there. And so there, my matched M72 is ready until I get my scope. I don't bother with the trigger. I don't bother with an internal or anything. As you can see, you know this account is practically brand new. Uh, yesterday, I went from rank one to rank four. In one game, and then I just got two ranks right there. Now I'm not using a premium account. There's no veterancy bonus here. Uh, I'm just looking at you know future upgrades. I'm going to be getting, but most importantly, I'm going to be getting the um, the scope for my grand. May, there you go. Main pre grease gun only has the field trigger job. Nothing else. No and regular stock ammo. I do have other ammos unlocked as you can see, but I'm, you know I don't have the sights. I do have the barrel. But don't, I don't see the point of the barrel. It doesn't do anything to the grease gun. Um, it's not like the M1 M2 carbine where the barrel looks like it's made of rubber. Uh, if you ever look at the spread count on that gun, but um, yeah, that's it, guys. I I hope this helps you when it comes to picking the right uh, um, weapon for the right job, semi or o or SMG. What do you do? As you saw, I did I did have to flank with the grease gun to even get three kills on par. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I greatly appreciate it. Um, give it a like, a favorite, a share, comment, rate, and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one, my friends.